So let me show some of the other randomized noise. So for example, this one is very cool. Same. I'm actually using the same method here, um, creating the circles, with, then creating the loft of these circles. Then I'm um, dividing these circles with these points. Um, I'm creating like similar to the grid that we created earlier, but this one creates points. Uh, then I'm kind of like doing some math. All of these are mathematical. They don't show anything because all of them are mathematical equations, and they kind of all of this. Then, like according to this mathematic, I'm recreating or like re-putting the place of these points. So as a result, when I reframe it, it shows, yeah, like this. So this is, uh, as I said, it's just like a different, very different method, which is uh, playing with the points, with the, uh, only the points uh, and changing their locations to be a bit randomized. So that's how we create such a pattern. Then <clears throat> can also I don't know, change the shape of the of the randomness there. How much you affect your it a bit. Yeah. Uh, so, like, what percentage of the uh, of the base that you want to cover? So, if I mm -hmm. say. Actually, after I got this, um, it uh, turns out as surface, and I like recreated this surface as a mesh using this uh, weave word, the, the one I told you before. I mean, this is the the mesh, so it's mm. like perfectly. Even I had some parameters that ah oh yeah, this one's I think can control the, so for example, this way, it was a kind of like horizontal uh, randomness, mm -hmm. but if you want it to be vertical, you, you like make the numbers. Yeah. 